Question three, again using trust data, part A is uh, draw a histogram, um, how much expenditure is on chickens, which is again simple procedure, no need to worry about that. And then use the appropriate test and uh, test for normality. Uh, once you have drawn the histogram with the normal curve option, uh, use the uh, KS test and you know, once you get the KS test, see for the uh, p-value and decide accordingly if the uh, normality assumption can be rejected or not. And then part B is the question about the frequency of purchases of frozen chicken, question 2D, compatible with the Poisson distribution. And this time when you say uh, you perform a KS test, um, use Poisson distribution rather than normal, check that in the dialog box and you will get the values for Poisson distribution. Same values if the critical value is 0 0.05, less or more, uh, you make your decision based on that. I would suggest that you skip rank test for now and move on to the question 3D, which is about the um, uh, variance um, equality, if the variance is equal between two samples. And you're asked to estimate the variance of chicken expenditure, which is question 5, for male and females. And the breakdown in the question, the gender question, which the exam, it's the, the book says is question 60. It's not. In fact, it's Q50, so there's a typo in the book. And then you're asked to perform an F-test. And uh, based on that F-test, decide if you can assume the normality of variances. And then E asks you, question 3E, to use uh, Levine F statistics. So let's look at F distribution first. Here's the F distribution. Looks like this. And you have um, two observations, or two samples, N1 and N2. And the degrees of uh, freedoms are N minus 1, N1 minus 1, and N2 minus 1. And let's say if you had a data set where um, N, N1 minus 1 was 129, and N2 minus 1 was 313. So for um, one end of the distribution, one tail, the value is 0 0.7. And for the other side of the distribution, the value is 1.3. If the observed calculated value for F falls in the gray area, then you reject the hypothesis. And if not, then you cannot reject the hypothesis. So let's look at the example here. The question is, and this is an example, do not use this as your input to the assignment. This is just theoretical. Is the variance for males equal to the variance for females for a particular consumption or spending? So with the null hypothesis is that the variance for male is equal to that of female versus it's not equal to um, between males and females. Let's say the variance for males is 0.87 and that for females is 2.6. So how do you calculate two F statistics? You take either one or the other. Um, often it says that use the one higher than the other one, but here in this case, if you're using 0.87 in the numerator, then this first degree of freedom should be belonging to this one. And if you're using this as a second, then the second degree of freedom should belong to this. So be careful here. Um, so whatever you choose, 0.87 divided by 2.6, you get 0.33. And for 5% confidence interval, which is F.975 for these degrees of freedom, from the tables you can get the statistics as 0.74. And for 0 0.025 for this side of the distribution, it's um, for this side of the distribution, it's 1.33. So this um, value of 0.33, calculated value of 0.33. Is, is falling in the gray area here, and therefore we reject the null hypothesis that the variances are equal. And that's the F statistic. Now, you can do the same using the one mean test, and it reports the Levine's test value as well. And you've done that before. If you do it again, you get the Levine test, and you can see that um, um, the value is 0.211, and here the result is different. Um, in this case, you are uh, rejecting the null hypothesis that the variances are not the same. Um, but here, um, have a look at what I said about Levine tests and then conclude accordingly. So this finishes or completes the uh, handout for uh, this assignment. Thank you.